Okay. Back for the next Age of Discovery mission. Our victory at Pryor's World was hard fought, and we took a thrashing in the process. We've gained some momentum from this win, but our position at Pryor's could become tenuous if the Klingon should return for a rematch. Captain Gabriel Lorca of the USS Baran is on station at Pryor's World, and he's requested assistance while they handle mop-up operations there. I believe you and your crew are ready for action, yes? Lorca is a fine captain, tough but fair, with years of experience in the field. Follow his lead and you'll do well. Report to him at Pryor's World for further instructions. Kensington out. I have a mission for you. a bit of a flight here. This is the USS Cicada. 
Switch to frequency 228.7 to adjust for ion storm interference. This is the Shinano. Advise keeping shields up. Cloaked Klingon vessels are still testing our defenses. Yeah, shields are always all the way up. <laughs> Let's do this quickly. Don't want our shields down for long. Thanks. Our supplies were low after retaking Pryor's world. One more assault and we would have been at critical levels in several key resources. I expect the Cicada is waiting for supplies too. I hope you have what they need. Lowering shields now. We are ready to receive supplies. Engineering has confirmed that all expected hardware has been delivered. Thank you. We shall begin repairs at once. Our computer systems have received significant damage from Klingon assaults. I believe the Baran is waiting for you to report in, so I will keep you no longer. This is Commander Ellen Landry of the USS Baran. Welcome to Pryor's World. The captain has requested that you transport over to the Baran to speak in person. Truth be told, we're not certain our hailing frequencies are completely secure. It's, um, it's a long story. Let's just say the Klingons had a few tricks up their sleeve during battle. to have some bridge officers and on my away team that actually have abilities that can help. Nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Lorcan. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Sorry to hear about Captain Schaefer. He was one of our best. Agreed. A damn fine captain. Though from what we've heard about what happened to Corman, his ship's in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy chief of security, on the Patel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Welcome aboard. We appreciate the assistance. Engineering is this way, if you'll follow me. What took you so long? Ah, <sighs> you tried booking a reception hall during prime wedding season. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. My warrior. Braver than a hundred Klingons. Kapla! We better catch up. Uh, before the captain throws us in the brig with the Klingons. We've been mopping up here after our scrap with the Klingons. The Klingons did not surrender Pryor's world lightly. Cleaning up the planet-based missile launchers was satisfying. The Baran is currently holding some Klingon prisoners of war. Prisoners we plan to deliver to a secure location before we ran into a snag. Lieutenant Kerwin, I have someone I'd like you to meet. Welcome aboard. Thanks for lending us a hand. Mind taking a look at something here? I'm analyzing some issues with the Baran's critical systems, and a fresh perspective might shed some light. Somehow the Klingons infected our computer systems with a particularly nasty virus during the battle. Another house Mokai trick by the looks of it. It's in several key systems, sensors, shields, weapons. Ugh. Right now, we can't rely on any of those remaining at operational status. If they come back for a rematch, we could wind up blind and defenseless. Excellent. We collected a lot of sensor data on their cloaking operations during the fight. It could give us an edge in future battles. 
But that's only if we have reliable sensors, which we currently do not. Hopefully, that's about to change. Okay, looks like the virus is out of the sensors. Let's turn them on. Fun little mini games. Wait, what? The virus came back when the sensors came up. Uh, let's try again. Just lost port deflect. Bridge to Captain. Klingon vessels decloaking. Lork at a bridge. I'm on my way. Captain, internal sensors show multiple Klingon transporter signals in your vicinity. All hands, repel borders. Get a bridge. We need those shields back. Do what you can to keep our port side away from the Klingons. Kerwin, I want you to head up there and give them a hand with the shields. No, I think it's time we went on the offensive. Landry, Patel, lead the way. Chief, get us to the armory. On it. Captain to sick bay, we have wounded on deck 17. We're on our way, Captain. Take one of these phaser rifles. We just finished modifications on them from data we gathered during the Prior's World fighting. The Klingons are in for a little surprise. Bridge to Captain. The Klingons hit the brig and released their buddies. Looks like they're heading toward the shuttle bay. They're gonna make a break for it, sir. Lorca to bridge, acknowledged. We're en route. To Pev, Landry, Patel, take the lead. Everyone else, you're with me. Let's move! Shop back there. Glad you had our backs. We need to move. Can you stay? Mm. Uh oh, Mitch. It's not as bad as it looks. Bridge to 
Captain, shuttle bay access is locked, and the hangar doors are starting to open. That damn Klingon virus again. Bridge, this is the Captain. Prepare the tractor beam, in case we fail. Even in the door systems. I'll handle this. Bam! Got it! Oh dear. Charge of the trap. We're preparing to depart the Duran. Prepare for our arrival. Not today. Not on my ship. Change your plan. Kill their captain. Then. You'll have to get through me first. Lorca to bridge. The prisoners are secure. Give me a status report. Sir, the Klingon vessels just went under cloak. They'll be back. Count on it. We need to get the Klingon prisoners secured. Unfortunately, our holding facilities here are compromised. Under the circumstances, I think we'll need to transfer the prisoners to your ship. I think you'll agree we can't risk dropping our shields to use the transporters. You'll have to take a shuttle. It's a little old-fashioned, but if the Klingons are here to rescue their people, they won't risk firing on you. Your ship, on the other hand, will be a target. Be ready for anything. All right, these Klingons wanted a ride in a shuttle. Load them up. My team will handle the prison transfer to your vessel. I'll have our security chief contact yours to sort out the details. Excellent. Are you ready to finish boarding procedures and head out? No, I think I'll stick around. Have some Good. You tea. made it. Afraid I have some bad news. We're picking up some photon decay heading our way. My people believe it's coming from cloaked Klingon vessels, and I'm inclined to agree. Get ready for a fight.
Nice work, Captain. Looks like the Klingons aren't finished with us at Pryor's world. Glad you were in the neighborhood. Things could have gone pear-shaped if you weren't. I'm sure that'll look good in your after-action report. Might put a little dent in my sterling reputation, but I'll manage. That said, we're not out of the woods just yet. I'll let my first officer fill you in on the details. This is Landry. As you've seen, the Varan is needed here at Pryor's World. And her brig is no longer secure. I'm afraid your ship is going to have to facilitate this prison transfer. The destination okay. is classified, I'm afraid. I have the coordinates in a secure device, which, with your permission, I'll bring aboard with my team. Sure. I don't disagree, Captain, but we're at war. Things have a tendency to get irregular in situations like this. Some of our prisoners are high-ranking members of the House Mokai. The secrets they know are important to the Klingons, even more so to Starfleet. We need to get them into a high-security facility as soon as we can. Okay. I'd like to send Commander Landry and a team of you to assist on this. Call it a joint effort. But it's still your ship and your command. Agreed? Oh, and one last thing. Landry's on loan. She's a damn fine officer and one of a kind. I do expect her back intact as soon as you're done, Captain. The shuttle, on the other hand, you can keep. We got plenty of those. Keep the officer, return the shuttle, sure. My team is on board, Captain. With your permission, I'll take the helm for this trip. I know the way, after all. Don't hit a rock. We've arrived at the coordinates, Captain. We're being hailed. Your presence in this system is unexpected. Transmit secure clearance codes now. Await and transfer of codes. I should remind you that all of our defense systems are active, Captain. Vosker out. That he did, Captain. Shall I transmit the security clearance codes? Yeah, that's kind of protocol. Transmitting initial sequence now. Lieutenant Kerwin, begin beta security code transmission on my mark. Mark. Very much so, Captain. Possibly more than they enjoy oxygen and comfortable socks. <clears throat> Transmission complete. The station is hailing us now. Shall I put them through? You're cleared for approach. Proceed to the following coordinates and prepare for prisoner transfer via shuttlecraft. Vosker out. word if you it's about warden vosker i've served with him before and there are some things about his character you should be aware of serving here allows vosker to use methods and practices that would not fly on a starship some of his morals are fluid perhaps dangerously so Look, I'm not sure what Starfleet Command knows about him, but he still has command of the facility. Permission to speak freely? Denied. There are those in Starfleet who are more focused on results than the cost of achieving those results. Vosker is such a man. The Admiralty didn't order these prisoners here by chance. They want Vosker to get results by any means necessary. That doesn't work for me. Or Captain Lorca. The ends do not justify the means. Oh yes, they do. I intend to make sure the price we pay here isn't too great. I don't want to look back on this day with regret. Or worse. My team has the prisoners prepped for transfer. Are you ready to head to the facility? I'm ready. But are you ready?
Welcome to Facility 2047. I'm Hadrian Fosker. Computer, update the log to finalize the transfer of prisoners to this facility. Authorization Fosker Sigma 9. We'll take it from here. A reminder, all data relating to this facility is classified. Now, if there's nothing else, I have a prison to run. Feel free to show yourselves out. Thank you. Hadrian. It's been a long time. Everything there is classified, even the lunch schedule? Not long enough. Was there anything of substance you wish to discuss, or are we done here? Well, I'd like to go back to the lunch menu. As in, according to Starfleet regulations, Hadrian, not your own personal code of conduct. Listen, we don't have to like each other. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's an impossibility at this point. What we need to do is work together and upholding the ideals and laws of the Federation. You're not being appreciative for his job. Are you finished? Look, the Federation is the promise of a better future. I buy into that. Beautiful dream. People love to talk about it. What nobody wants to talk about are the hard choices it takes to make that dream come true. Every day, Klingons remind us, though. And we pay the price in blood, sweat, and tears. So unless you're ready to learn some hard truths, I suggest you return to your ship and move along. Yeah, why don't you show us everything you do here, Warden? Enlighten us. Show us how you're keeping the Federation safe from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Hey, we'll even take notes. Wonderful. Prisoners are being processed. I'm sure they're being treated well. Better than the Klingons treated the innocent civilians of Pryor's world, for example. If you'll follow me. Johnson, give me a status report. Wrapping it up now, sir. Medical scans and contraband search all came back. He's got in a three. little skip in his step, good. Warden, there's increased comms from the Starfleet vessel stationed at Pryor's world. It sounds like there's another fight with the Klingons there. I'm uh, not sure. Sorry, the signal's garbled. Some sort of interference is breaking it up, and I'm just gonna fight. So far, it sounds like the trouble is on the planet's surface. We have our orders, and no distress signal is being sent. That being said, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I were back on the Baran, Captain. I've got the feeling the Klingons are about to make another big push at Pryor's world. Fine. In the meantime, we have a job to do here. Johnson, put the Priority 2 prisoners into Genpop. I'll make sure our Priority 1 guest gets into MaxSec, where he belongs. Captain, Commander, let's get this over with. Got a nice cell waiting for you, Mokai. I don't know, man. Our job was to deliver the prisoners, not take a tour. And see what we don't like about how this guy does his job. What are you guys about back there? Just wondering what you have in mind for our prisoners, Hadrian. Did you just call me a hen and ask what we're talking about? Nothing the Admiralty has an authorized. Well, we're talking for. about eggs. What else do hens talk about? Johnson here. Operation reports a malfunction in primary systems and recommends a reboot. Johnson, contact engineering and keep an eye on things until I'm finished. I'm sure everything will be just fine in this mission. Oscar to engineering. The bridge to isolation is acting up. Fix it. Now. Fine. Now. Understood, sir. Wait. What the? Sir, the primary deflector grid just went offline. Look out. Klingons. Johnson, initiate full lockdown. Get those shields back up, now! Johnson? Come in, Johnson! Damn, fuck off! Are you ready? Well, I would like to pick that up. Alright, let's get this over with. Tuck <laughs> nice. Same to you, Potty Bach. Come on! Damn it! Problem, Hadrian? 
There it is again. Cuss of maintenance. If it doesn't work, hit it harder. That didn't sound good. We need to get out of here right now. Ah, uh, he lived. Let me help you. Hurry. He wouldn't have lived if his hands were cuffed behind him. We are complete. Since you've obviously forgotten, that is not how we operate. Whatever. Let's get moving. I'll get back. Is that a pudding of some kind? I don't speak I don't Klingon. Have time for this. If we can't put the prisoner in one of these cells, we'll have to take him back to processing. It's not ideal, but it'll do till we get things under control. Sure, that makes sense. Supposed to be there. I believe you have something that belongs to me. I don't get it, you just shoot. He's not going anywhere, lady. I'm gonna. Ha! You are saying if only you had sheets to block our transporters. She didn't bring a big group of bad guys. Cover me while I get the shields back. Holy jeez. Yes, command. Now why couldn't they wipe me out as fast as I wiped them out? I can't get this done if they keep shooting me. idiot. Mines are good times. I can't get this done if they keep shooting me. Yeah, well, I'm too low level and I don't have a shield that can pop down yet. Oh, 
almost. You done yet? Sensors are picking up a Klingon battle group, approaching at high warp. Without the turrets, they'll eventually knock our shields down and finish us off for good. It's only a matter of time. Lieutenant Kerwin can get those turrets back online. We just need to buy him enough time to get the job done. I mean, this isn't time for heroics. One ship against a Klingon fleet? That's suicide, you know it. Now face it, we're done here. Let's get essential personnel to your ship, and get the hell out of here while we're able. Captain, the turret grid just came back online. Wait, oh no, that's bad. The turrets are scanning for Starfleet vessels. They've been said to see them as targets. It's that damned virus. That damn virus. It's just like what happened to Pryor's world. Catch they turned our own defense grid against us, and then mopped up what was left after the chaos. How did a Klingon virus get into our system? Klingons didn't even know about this place until... Well, Facility 2047 wasn't wearing their face masks. Those clever bastards. It's a genetic sequencing virus. We did a full medical scan of the Klingon prisoners when we brought them aboard the Buran. And another one when they were brought aboard this facility. But... Fortunately, or your ship would be dealing with the virus too. Somehow they've managed to embed it within the DNA of one or more of the prisoners. Uh, if we can identify the difference between the artificial and natural bases, we should be able to isolate the viral code and purge it from the system. Ah, that sounds pretty complicated. How much time do you need? Maybe five minutes? Oh, okay. I guess it's not that complicated. I'm an idiot. You should totally blame yourself. You shouldn't beat yourself up for doing the right thing here. Besides, if we get him and Jaula, we could just pretend it was all part of the plan, right? Okay. All right, all right. You win. But we still have a lot of work to do before, you know, we single-handedly end the war and get promoted to fleet admiral. So let's get up to your ship and go after them. Klingon vessels is hailing us. Oh, cool. Starfleet vessel, you are outnumbered and unable to flee. If you wish your crew to survive, stand down and prepare to be boarded. Refuse, and we will give you all an honorable death. Well, that seems fair. I prefer an honorable death. A warrior's death, then. Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. Perhaps we will meet face to face in glorious combat when I pour your vessel to take it as my prize. Uh, uh, that would be nice. Set a dinner appointment. I'm actually going to try to stay away from all the satellite turrets.
use Nox Battery. So we'll boost this. Captain, latest sensor reports show all Klingon vessels are either destroyed or retreating. I think we did it. You think? Kerwin here. Captain, all systems are clear over here. Not reading any Klingon ships on sensors either. Did we do it? Captain, if it's all the same to you, I recommend we retrieve Lieutenant Kerwin and return to the Baran immediately. We haven't seen the last of Jaula and her forces, and there is a nasty digital virus still running wild in the brand systems. Seeing as we have the solution to that little problem, I think it's high time we delivered it to Captain Lorca. Okie dokie, so that was that way. Sounds wish. like the Klingons are making another push in that sector. Securing Pryor's world is of the utmost importance, so I want you to render assistance to the Baran as soon as possible. I'm sending other vessels in the region to join the effort, but until they arrive, the burden will fall on your shoulders alone. Good luck and Godspeed. Kensington out. Congratulations. All right. Well, that's pretty much where I'll end it for this one.